Hi, my name is Cindy Rang. I'm Brandon Matskis, and today is our Wednesday box opening. All right, well, welcome to Wednesday. <laughs> so uh, we're supposed to start staying. We are a um, mother, daughter, and granddaughter uh, trio that have uh, been together. Listen, we've had our quilt shop here in uh, North Central Washington for 23 years. Mm -hmm. And um, so we have a shop and then we've been doing online stuff in YouTube for uh, two and a half, three years now. Yeah. And so we've got all kinds of videos about whatever kind of whatever you want to do. <laughs> and then we do a fabric chat where it's just sitting around talking about nothing uh, Wednesday mornings. And then we do two box openings a week. We do Wednesday night at five. And then we also do a Sunday one at 12.30. And um, sometimes it works out great, and sometimes it's a little bananas, because we really don't know what we're opening. You know, we kind of know from the name what it says out there, but um, sometimes it's only half To recall of it what's and, here is not. I know. And other people who have shops, they know that what happens is you order it six to eight months yeah. um, in advance of when you actually get it. And so... It is kind of fun to see it and try it to remember. It makes you wonder how other shops um, keep track of it. How they know. They have in... to just write it down. Okay, yeah, but if you write it we down. We write it down too and it doesn't work. Right. We write down Hocus Pocus and we're assuming that's going to be Halloween that's coming in July. No. No. It's this really cool floral piece. Well, that's cute. <laughs> Didn't think that was coming. You almost have to have like a picture. It almost has to be like a bullet journal. Here's the picture, here's yeah. the song, little scrapbook. But the other thing too is that you have to trust that it's gonna come when it comes in. Oh it yeah, I don't. Yeah, I still don't know if we're up from when everything got shut down because mm -hmm. of the borders and everything. I don't know if it's still back up. It's. But and the I other don't know. thing that will happen is sometimes they'll sell a fabric and not enough shops bought it, so then they decide they're not printing it. Mm -hmm. So you might have made all of these plans yeah. for all of this fabric you bought that well yeah funny. and also like QT fabric so we ended up I think we told you last week we ended up calling QT asking about the dandelion wishes um, fabric which has come in finally came in it's so on its way to you goodness Ooh. is coming but if you wanted some but wanted to wait until it's in the shop it is in the shop now we'll mm -hmm. flash it to you in a little bit but um, when we called there's another line I don't even remember what it's called that they're wanting to send us but it's incomplete there are two pieces of this collection that are missing that they haven't made it to the warehouse yet it's like no 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 I don't we want it we don't those. want it yeah we don't want it we want to show it to you when we have all 26 mm -hmm. pieces or 15 mm -hmm. pieces whatever it is we want to show you all of it not have mm -hmm. to oh three weeks later <laughs> here are two pieces remember this one? Oh, there's none left or whatever yeah. so that's the hard part too is that sometimes it just got delayed in printing or the printers missed it mm -hmm. and it has to wait to you know cross yeah. the ocean craziness and then the other thing is of course uh, the person standing behind us is Tracy because we do all of this in our shipping room so it is receiving and <laughs> leaving <laughs> coming and going, going. <laughs> coming and, going. <laughs> and so um Tracy sends, um, the majority of what goes out goes out priority. So yeah. it goes out, um, when we get you orders in the morning, we cut them and she has them at our local post office by three o'clock. So the majority goes by um, USPS, uh, priority mail. The only variation of that is if somebody has something very oversized, we might put it in, um, she likes to yeah. call it the slow boat because it's just um, not in a priority box. But other than that, and then also if for some reason we've counted wrong and something mm -hmm. is weird and you ordered something that we're out of, we'll give you a call and say, hey, we'll send the rest or do you want to wait or whatever. Yeah. But anyway. All right, so uh, we have a lot of boxes to open, but it sort of worries me a little because there's a lot of like single boxes. Yeah, I don't know. So there's a little motive one. That one's interesting. I know, but it's one and two. So oh, so there's something in there because yeah. normally that's the other thing that we do is we'll order like either the entire collection mm -hmm. or we'll order what's called a locale. So we hate it when you just get you know five pieces out of a line or whatever. We've yeah. never ever done that. So right, um, and I know sometimes like FedEx, UPS, one of the boxes just got mi mix missed in loading, but that's yeah. Just up. Yeah, so sometimes we wait, and we wait longer than we should have, and yeah. so anyway, there's some weird things. But first, there's some fun boxes. We've been um, uh, opening a lot of fun, did she just yawn? 
a lot of um, fun presents for little Maisie May here. So um, there's three boxes here that are two Brianna. So I'm assuming that they're Maisie May boxes. <laughs> so this one, boxes. we have a card. And I think it must be from Nancy Winky. Nancy, is that who we're thinking? Mm -hmm. I think so too. Yeah, it's from Nancy. I've had this card for years. I used to work at a parent education for um, BBC. It's uh, our community college. Um, where parents worked in their preschools, their children were enrolled in. Oh, that's cool. Um, I know you're good at parenting, but it's always good to rethink some things. Congratulations Aww. on Miss Maisie. Uh, I love seeing and hearing about her, Wyatt, and Harper too. Oh, oh cute. Fun. I'll throw that, but yeah. How to Plan really love a child. Yeah. Plan to build a rocket ship. Yeah, that's true. Oh. Yeah. Express your love a lot. Speak kindly. Paint their tennis shoes. <laughs> Handle with care. Yeah, that's cute. Nice. that's cute. Yeah, we have a big thing hanging on our wall about um, family rules. And it's just, you mm -hmm. know, love each other, laugh often, be kind, that whole thing. And they mm -hmm. they can almost read it. Not because they can read yeah. the words, but we resent they it a lot. No. Yeah. And oh, some fun a box books. full of books. Oh, I'm gonna like me. Letting oh, that's the one by Jamie Lee Curtis. Let it, yeah, yeah, letting off self esteem. Oh, oh, are you sleepy? That's good. I think that's important. I'm tired of Especially working. for I mean Wyatt being in school and kids being raised differently. I think it's important to know that you know you're special any way you come. What? What? Piggy book <coughs> by Anthony Brown. <coughs> Piggy book. Piggy book. You. <coughs> Cool. Oh, oh, oh. Uh oh. <laughs> no? Not anymore? I don't know. I'm sure I want this. She didn't finish her bottle earlier. She says she's sleepy. She says she can't get comfortable. She's trying to nestle in her in. pillows. Oh, that's what she's doing, yeah. Did you in there? Oh, and there go the eyes. Chrysanthemum with a cute little mouse on it. Alpha Bakery. Oh, we had this one. Oh, I remember this one. We used to have this one, but yeah, it's the alphabet, and everything has a recipe in it. Yeah. Why will I have, have a this picture one. of you with that? I wonder if that must be in my collection still. It must be. Wyatt will love this. Yeah. Because Wyatt he, really he, wants we to know. We're planning on doing some cooking this weekend. Yeah, yeah he loves to cook. Oh, the Rainbow Bakery. Oh. Pot of gold, cheese sauce. Fun. You can do it. Cute! Oh. I haven't seen that one. Mean soup. Mean Ooh, soup. this was a loved one. Oh. Oh, interesting. Jillian giggles. <laughs> What's under your hood? <laughs> Five minutes of peace. This is my third copy. Oh! <laughs> I got a run of those two. <laughs> I might finally give one to Robert. I didn't really want to, but maybe I'll let him read it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, that's important. I make my kids apologize. Um, I make them go, they have to go have a little time out, think about it, and then they have to apologize, but I also make them tell me what they're sorry for. Yeah. You know, oh, go to white, oh, I'm sorry for hitting you, I'm sorry for throwing my shoe at you. I make them say why they're sorry, and if they can't, Not they still have to go think about it. Yeah. You know, so they know when they're apologizing, there has to be a reason why you're apologizing. The way I feel, oh, this would be a good one. I think Harper has a hard time realizing what her emotion is, still. Mm -hmm. But I think she has a lot of raging emotions. <laughs> My many colored days. That's good. Mm. And just the way you are. Cute! I'm excited. Fun. And you know, funny, that's this, really nice. This weekend, I was gonna go through their books because they have some books that are um, too young for them, and was going to redo their books. And now I'll have to, yeah, to be able to fit some of their really good ones in here. Very nice. Find some new ones to read it at night. Those are great. I like those, and they're definitely old enough to understand mm -hmm. what the book is telling them. And that one, I'm sorry, I opened it, and then I realized it was not for me. I didn't <laughs> see who it was. That's from, okay. But, um, um, it is from to that precious baby's uh, bottom warm at work <laughs> from uh, Cheryl Hilton in North Carolina. 
Aww. It's a diaper warmer for work, which is good. She's cried a couple times because yes, and they're not. I mean, they're like room temperature. They're cold. But. No one should have to have that on their little tushy tush. <laughs> a white warmer. Thank you. Thank you. She She'll appreciate it. that because yeah. she has one of those at home. And yeah, and I like, love Whoa. my diaper warmer. I was watching something on Facebook of things you know um, what things are unnecessary for a um, a nursery at home, and I think it was maybe a spoof. Because everything she says, like, no, I have that. No, I, I wouldn't live no, without you that. Need that. One was a diaper warmer. One was you the mean little... diaper wiper warmer. Yeah, this thing, one of these. You, you have to have, have that. These. That is absolutely necessary. It is. And hold that up for if you're buying for yeah. somebody new. Anything. I have the yeah. Walmart brand. It's lasted through all three of the kids, and even lasted in storage for three yeah. years. And you just plug it in, and it's not mm -hmm. hot. Nope. It's, it's just ever so gentle. You have to warm. add water every couple of days to keep everything, you know, moisturized. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it'll dry out. But yeah, and it even has a little nightlight on it. So if you want to make sure the baby understands nighttime and daytime, there's a tiny little nightlight that illuminates just the little tiny table. So yeah, it was this. It was a little, um, the little rubber spatula that will help put butt paste and stuff oh, on. Oh yeah, she thought that was unnecessary. Yeah, and it's like, okay, I understand I if thing. you're gonna have a baby, you're gonna touch things, but sometimes knock it under your nails to make sure you just yeah. smear a nice globby bit on there. I mean, well, and also once you've smeared it all, you have to go wash your hands. You right. can't keep dressing the baby with all that all over your hands. Right. And you don't want to walk away and leave the baby laying there. No kidding. So the little rubber spatula thing. Totally necessary. Totally necessary. Uh, what was the other thing that was something super weird? This was something that's that? not a real parent. Um, I don't know. Those are the two that really stood out. Like those two, you really needed those. You really need those things. Like I get, you know, baby things, but you needed a little rubber spatula. I think they're a little expensive. They're like $6, which is a little unnecessary. You could just use a kitchen spatula. I know, but I think it's but, just that thing to not... Yeah. Uh, to it's necessary. You can't yeah. leave the baby. And it also has a little suction cup on the bottom. Mm -hmm. So you can just suction cup it next to you if you need to go wash it or mm -hmm. whatever you need to. And it's not going to, you don't have to then sanitize the table. So yeah. I like everything about it. Yeah. But yeah, there was, I, so I think it might have been a spook. So I was like, I don't understand. She was like super serious. She says, you shouldn't get this. You should get this instead. I was like, mm, no. <laughs> Disagree. <laughs> so Thank I don't you. know. Thank you, Cheryl. Yes. I am very nice. I like that. And he's that one. I don't and I was thinking one. I needed to do a little station because I also think that I need to bring some extra diapers. Like my diaper bag down to two you diapers. You do. We oh kind of need to have a little spot because at some point she's going to want to take naps down here and yeah. Tracy can't be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> There's not enough room for Lizzie. There's not enough room for Lizzie. I know. <laughs> little must smell pants. Say who it's from. Oh, I opened it up, turned down. Hope your sweet Ma Maisie enjoys a nice warm butt wipe oh, at work. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> From Lisa Bissell. Oh, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> Maisie, now you're gonna have one nail this Now you're gonna have her little butt. Yeah, this is almost the one I look. That looks like. Yeah, that is so fabulous. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> that's, that's good. Really funny. That's good because even Pa. Yeah. Who is a no nonsense person? It's like, no. They don't have no co wipes. Yeah. No. Oh. That is so great. That's so sweet. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's good. That, I'll have a traveling. I should put one at your house. Because eventually have one she'll house. be at, you know, during yeah. now it's retreat season, you know, starting in two months. Yeah. We need one there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because I've thought that before. So I can't you just unplug it and bring it with you? But yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah but. Myself. <laughs> I will use both of them. <laughs> and then, yeah, yeah really and then nice. I'll make sure they go to loving babies. Because yes. that's what I did when I was done with Harper. We were pretty, I mean, I was pretty sure I wasn't done with babies. Robert was adamant he was done with babies. Um, like and so like we he's gave, the one who gets to decide. Yeah, like, that's <laughs> um, But we did give away a lot of our baby stuff to, you know, Marissa was having a baby, my best friend's sister. And we gave her a lot of the, you know, my really good stuff. Like, you need this, you need this. And I don't yeah. know why I kept the diaper. My, I guess they might have been still in diapers. But I kept the diaper warmer and the chain, that kind of thing. But, so yeah, whenever Maisie's finished, I'll make sure they go to good babies. Yes. we will need nice to warm cushions. Yes. Thank you so much. Yes. I appreciate really it. Really nice. Love it. All right. Well, she's content here, so I'm going to let you open whatever okay. right there. So Maybe that one looks like notion that's um, Notions, probably. Yeah. It's just so little. And it says caution this side up, so that makes me think it's something. Maybe. Um, oh, Freycheck? 
We oh, talked about this. When were we talking about that? Last Fabber Chat? Oh, yeah, because we talked about, um, yeah, last mm -hmm. last Fabber Chat. We were talking about... Um, fraying fabric. Fraying fabric. Mm -hmm. And so, fray check. Yeah, it's just a really good, inexpensive way to do it. And yeah, if you missed that um, fabric chat, what we were saying is that um, some fabric is just going to fray. I mean, just because it, it's woven fabric. And so the best thing really to do, uh, assuming that you're buying um, quilters, cotton fabric, because that's the number one thing, is make sure that you're getting the right quality of fabric. But the number two thing is just stop for a moment and take care of it. So mm -hmm. whether that's using Terial Magic, spraying that on it, oh, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Terial Magic, or fray check, but just take a minute, um, handle it because it'll it'll continue to do it. Yeah, look it and it's here. not because it's you know I mean I assume it's not because it's bad fabric, but somebody had said on there that their quilt shop uh, I don't know like rerolled uh, flat folds or something like that. If you know of a shop that does that, that's not okay. Yeah. Uh, typically, I think that's not the case. We we know um, what is sixty square quilters cotton that's made properly and. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it makes a big difference because you want that same shrink factor and wash factor and you want all of it to be the same, but anyway. Yeah. Anyway, Terial Magic. Um, this is Terial Magic. So Terial Magic is like best press or starch on steroids. Mm -hmm. um, what you do is you wet your fabric, wet your square, wet whatever you need to, wet the edge of your fraying bit. Um, let it kind of air dry for a couple minutes and then he you can heat it with your iron to let it really dry and it'll make your fabric stiff. By wet it, she doesn't mean under the water. She right. means wet it with this. Put enough on to kind of saturate it. Yeah. That's what she Spray means. Spray it on there as if it's going to be like a starch or a spray press. And then let uh, it air dry. Let, and you can let it air dry or mm -hmm. you can hit it with an iron. Mm -hmm. A lot of, some of it evaporates, so it depends on how stiff you want it. Um, and it'll slowly start stiffening it. You can get it as stiff as like cardstock if you just keep applying and heating and applying and heating. It'll almost feel like vinylized fabric. It is pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. It does wash out though. It's mm -hmm. not permanent. And so if you're doing it because of fraying, if you're doing it, um, uh, machine embroiderers yep. really like it because it stabilizes the fabric so well. So um, yeah. if you're going to run your fabric through a printer or do something else, um, so there's oh, a lot of great reasons idea. to do it. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it's really cool. If you're wanting to do um, like hand applique, even mm -hmm. would be a good idea. Stiffen mm -hmm. your fabric. You could put yeah. your fabric through the printer to do all your outlines, mm -hmm. cut everything out, rinse it out, dry it again, and you have this beautifully cut out. Yeah. Perfect piece. Pure magic. Um, is cool. It does say on the back that it treats up to like three yards of fabric. If you really want to get all stiff yeah. with it, but it also depends on your stiffness. It, you could get more out of this if you just want it to control your fray. If yeah. you're wanting nice stiff sheets, I think three yards is probably what you're going to If you wanted to stiff sheets, then this regular old starch is good. Yeah. Um, so that was in there. Um, the pinking blades. Oh, another oh, thing. All the stuff we talked about. We were talking about. Um, this gives you that little pinked edge, mm -hmm. so you can do it out of the scissors. Yeah. Which is here, just your good old, you know, grandma's shears if you don't have any. So you can do your pink stuff with your pair of scissors. Or um, Olfa made one 45 millimeter that'll fit your 45 millimeter rotary cutter. And I have one of those, but what I do is I just keep that in there. And mm -hmm. so then whenever I want to use that, I don't have a separate one. I'll just take off my blade, put that on there, and I'll use that. Because yeah. the pinked edge, it will fray less just because it has kind of confused that edge a little bit. So, um, And that's why all of our little pre cuts are pinked that way. Yeah, that was all that was in there. Wow. That was it. That that's was our little of, fray uh, well, we run, As chat soon as box. we talked about it, we run out of all of yeah. them. So. And the pink blades is probably the coolest thing. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. one, like, we've... I've had my blade for... Gosh. Yeah, because you don't use it very often. No, you don't use it hardly at all, so it's something that you can just keep in there, and when you need it, pull her out. Yeah. Is that another um, small it's another little box. box? It's, it's a whole kit and caboodle. The whole country caboodle. Oh, um, Leanne and her Yeah. Mom. What'd you get? That might be a market order. Did we see the market? I don't know. Ooh. Mm. Oh, I know what this is. You know what this is? Yes. Oh, oh, oh. I know what this is. And this is like, I know what this is. Oh, I, I think we hear. did see this at market. And so what this is, and the whole thing is pre-cut. Oh, here. I'm going to have to give you the baby. Oh, I don't know what that is. <laughs> She's got to use both hands. I do. Because I was trying to think. 
it's spendier than you think. So I'm going to say that first of all. Well, it's also, it's laser cut. Yeah. You're it's light. I'm just going to tell you right up front. It's like 200 ish, 200 ish dollars, but you divide it by 12. I know that it was less than 20 bucks. It was like 17 or $18 a month. And this is what you get. What it is, is it's a monthly project where what they do is they make a pillow wrap. So all you have to do is you just make one pillow and then each month you make a fun little um, project and then you just um, right button that. That's so cute. Yeah, it's so smart. But here's what she did. Here, I'll show you so it all comes together. So everything is cut out. So here's like your February one. Well, you so your all of your little in stuff. In, yeah, everything is in there that you need. Here's your March one. And your buttons, one. your snowman has buttons in it. Yeah. Here's the snowman one. Oh, Everything that's cool. is totally laser cut. So all of the fusing has been done and all of the cutting has been done. Plus then there's your patterns in here. So I just um, get the cover so yeah, I can show it with without a glare. But yeah, and then if you want to um, remake it, you've got the full pattern. Yeah. So if you want to make one for your house and your sister's See, house. like look at this one. I'm just gonna keep lifting these up. Here's like your little pumpkin <laughs> one. Oh. What he's he's a little no. That's got oh, to be Claus. a Santa. Yeah, with the beard. Yeah. So and that's like a really that must be like a wool batting. 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 Yeah. Here's oh, without yeah. the glare so, so there's the pattern. pattern better. And then she has in there um, everything that you need, but it is kind of nice because it's not just the pattern set, but it's um, everything pre-cut. And you can see that the pattern, it's all full sized. So just like Brianna said, if you, it's like, oh, this is great, but now I need to make a set for my sister because she saw it and she really wants it. Um, so here is all of the pieces and then here's how it goes together. So there's the layout. I hope you can see that. So there's the turkey. And you can see how big it is. Cute. It's pretty good size. So anyway, super cute. I was waiting for this These to come. These are really come. cute. And again, it's one of those things, we're not gonna host this as a block of the month because it would be one class. And we, in fact, I'm sure we, we already, already have, have a fusible, a fusible applique, video. applique video just mm -hmm. to show you how to trace. You first, you lay your um, steam -a seam to or your light steam -a seam, whatever you like lay it down, trace it with a pencil, rough cut it out, iron it to the wrong side of your fabric, then cut out on the line, and then you lay everything out. So what's really nice is that they've done all, all of those. That. They've picked the fabric. You don't have to deal with any little fabric bits. You don't have to trace mm -hmm. anything. It even has all of the little buttons in there for you. So, so, cool. so, and so it's the whole year, but it's less than $20 a month. And, mm -hmm. and I always think that all the time. I think, okay, what would I pay for the pattern and the pre-fused, pre-cut out fabric. So, mm -hmm. um, and it's just, it's like just, and it's less than that. It seems like it's either 17 or $18. Yeah. So all you would need looks like is your backgrounds and that little yeah. binding bit. Yeah. She all, oh, on a tea towel. Oh. That would be cute. Put on a is towel. Is that what she makes the? I don't know, she just says materials needed a tea towel. Oh. That'd be really cute. I should look a little close. I if remember you're, seeing um, these at market. Cutting a pillow. He said, oh, she does it with Velcro instead of ties. You can do anything. I remember cute. seeing them up close and I thought they were really cute. Yeah. And then I had kind of forgotten about them. So we saw these at market and she had all of them there. And they are the cutest thing. They're pretty good sized. Adorable. Well, you can tell. And the background. You can tell on that, but you can tell by looking at the pattern how big it's they bigger. are. I mean, And it's she said you need um, a third of a yard for the background. So oh, the okay. background that wraps around your pillow is, at, you know, 11 inches after binding. Yeah. That's great yeah. though. That's a perfect size for just a cute, cute. little pillow so, for the entryway. That's didn't the get very many though, did we? Um, really maybe anyway. a dozen. And we, yeah, mm -hmm. super cute, super cute. Yeah. Well, oh, that's really fun. All together. Yeah. Yeah. I and I like that it's also easy to um, set out and put away. Yes. It's something you can easily put in your little Christmas tote, your Halloween tote, your whatever. Because it's not a whole pillow. You're just recycling the same stuffed pillow. You're just, you know, covering it up with a little wrap. Cute, cute, cute. Super cute. All right. I totally forgot about that. I know. Fabulous. Love it. Yeah. I like them, though. Yeah, I like them. I like their artwork. Yeah, They're another designer. Katie, that is that her Katie? Is that right? Is that Katie. Katie. Here another one that I um, I, I like recognizable artwork. Leanne, oh, just has her name on it. It's Leanne, and what's Leanne's daughter's name? Oh, I want to say it's Kate. Maybe it's Kate. Who knows? 
We don't know. Aww. Okay, so let's see. We have two Moda boxes, and I think that was... Yeah, and it does say one and two, so... I know, but it just doesn't seem like enough. Very much fat. Moda. This was dirty. Someone had their lunch on this one. <laughs> Is it... Oh, that is one piece of fabric. Oh, that's pretty. Mm. What's that called? Mix it up. Mix it up. Oh, and it's a Moda collaboration one. Ooh. 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 Those are pretty. Oh, man. We were just talking about quilts and things that we were putting together because we've been making quilts for the new retreat center mm -hmm. and talking about some of our favorite stuff and this is perfect. These are cute. This is not going to be very long. Is only no. Oh my gosh. See it. Mm. See it. Should we, um, should we just open them this way? Um, or do you want to show them let's up close? show them up close up so we close. can open them up and then I can okay. get the color right. Okay. Okay. So, uh, so first we're going to show you this quilt. And you've seen this quilt multiple times. Mm -hmm. It's Hollywood. We talk about it a lot. Um, and it's it's the one that Marge can make in 30 minutes, and it's absolutely true. But what's really, really nice about it is that it takes five and a half yards of one piece that makes up much of what you see, and then you just have the piece blocks in the center. So when we first made the one for the shop, we found this fabric. You might not be able to see it up close, but what it is is it's um, poetry by... Um, Emily Dickens. Emily Dickens, which um, we sold in seconds, Tons and then we bought yardage. more of it and sold it again, and we cannot get it any longer. So um, we don't even have this one hanging up in the shop yeah. because it just makes people mad. Yeah. Like, well, well, I want that, <laughs> I want that fabric. One. Well, you can't have that fabric. There's, the, what we're going to show you from Moda is like an awesome Super similar. option. Yeah. And so this is, um, so it makes a really big quilt. And so what happens is you've got a fairly large amount of it here, and then just kind of offset center, you have these squares. So it's kind of a square and a square and a square and a square, and just a fun fabric and just kind of low, I really like this low volume kind of a look. So anyway, um, so this is a, a popular quilt. We've talked about this, I think just recently, we showed the peach one that was like that. Oh yeah, just but last week. It's a fun way just to show off fabric. And so you'll see that that was what the thought was um, with some of this stuff, but. Yeah, totally. Um, but, well, yeah, because we could show this, wanna show this up close? Sure. Or, yeah. do okay. you wanna flash them, the Daniel Yeah, wishes? we'll flash you this one because this was, there was two other ones. Um, that we think are really perfect for like this um, Hollywood quilt. So this line is, what is this one called? Create. Yeah. Create uh, Paper. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so this one has kind of that look to it. It's just this really cool drawn flower. Um, I've made multiple things out of this line. She's done a couple different ones um, and they all kind of go they together really, really well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then the other one, we talked about this one this morning was the Dandelion Wishes fabric. And so, oh, that seems like it's coming across kind of yellow in the light there. It's black but, with um, some gold. It's black with a little bit of gold and then there's also a little bit of white on there. So I think depending upon where you're looking at it, it says Dandelion Wishes and then this one. Oh. Yeah. This one is the white one, and so it has got um, the black and the yellow, and it's just little hearts. I it's really, really like it. And we do have yeah. even some of the coordinates still. Yeah. Just a little bit of it, but enough that if you still wanted to make something if you missed mm -hmm. it the first time, you still could get some of the... Yeah. We color. sold out of that. When we first got that, we just had one bolt, and it sold out in minutes. Mm -hmm. We did order more, and we've been waiting for a bit. But anyway, so everybody who was waiting for that, it's on its way to you, and we mm -hmm. still have about a bolt and a half yeah. roughly left of both of those colors. So it, you have an opportunity to get it. Yeah. All right, and then, um, so we'll show you this other new stuff that's kind of cool, and then we also wanted to show you some layer cakes. So, let's see, and there's just a few here. And we had an extra box because we do have an extra bolt of this one, and it, which what is, is it nice called? to know. It's obviously it's off it the called? same collection. It's called... Mix it up. Oh, mix it up. Okay. Mix it up. So 
Are you able to see this if yeah. I open this up? That one's fabulous. It is really cool. I really like it. And so you've got just a little bit of floral stuff. It almost looks like a sampler because it kind of goes in different directions. And there's some flowers, some little bees. Um, yeah, a little bit just of script. A little bit of a script. Yeah, a little bit of everything. Really, really nice. And this is the one that we got a couple of bolts of. I think, again, it has that really nice low volume look. You can add just some other whites, some creams, anything with a little bit of taupe. It would look really good with that. And then this one is the same piece, but it's really more um, creamy, I would say. And so that same exact same print, just cream instead of white. Yeah. Will you put that white one next to them so yes. you can kind of see the difference? Yes, so can see the difference. Bright white. Yeah. There you go. And creamy. It's not a huge difference, but if no. you have like ecru walls or yeah. maybe you have bright white walls but want to tone down the yeah. brightness of your room, it should be a beautiful um, secondary color. And then this one is creamy, so see the difference? So this is creamy with the taupe print and this is creamy with a black print. That's super so, cool. Oh, it's just fantastic really far more going on because you're really this is kind of subtle but this is um really awesome you can really, really see the other what yeah. the real textures are yeah i feel like the other ones you couldn't really see all no. of that sampler look yeah awesome all that work that you patched oh, i know i know i know well because i like that look anyway i love that scrappy yeah um, yeah yeah and then there's these two pieces, and so this one is on a white background, and then this one is on that creamy parchment-y background. And um, so, and it's just little, I don't know, what do you think they are? Do you think they're stars? Little stars, yeah. yeah. That black and white one will go really fast. That's a yeah. perfect little blender bit. Because it could be a star, it could be a snowflake. Yeah. It just sort of depends on what you want somebody to believe it is. And then before we move the camera, I want to show you guys this really quickly. So, because I was thinking that with this stuff that we had some um, pre-cuts. And it's kind of funny because I couldn't figure it out. I thought maybe something was mismarked. Both of these are called Lower the Volume. So this one is called Lower the Volume, but it's by blank. And this one is called Lower the Volume, and then it says Dash Free Spirit. So the difference is that this one, it's all very low volume, and by that we just mean, you know, things that are mostly clear. So if you look through here, you can see there's some script prints. There's some little, um, I don't know, all kinds of different, that's dice, that's kind of fun. Mm -hmm. um, and really set on, I feel like, a bright white background. Bright white, yeah, bright white. All kinds of little... Oh, there's even some bicycles in there. I don't know that there's a big, massive picture that will show you all of it, but if you kind of like that idea of um, do... Oh, look at the ladybug. That's cute. That's a cute piece of fabric. I don't know that we have yardage of any of these yeah. or very many of them. Maybe that one, that was kind of like a topography one. Oh, the ants, that's kind of cute. So this one, I think, is a little bit more novelty almost, I would say. And then this one you can see is different. And this one um, is a little bit more artsy fartsy. And there's um, there's a little bit of color in there, but it's more, um, it could be Tim Holtz-ish, would look mm -hmm. good with it. Yeah, lots of different background options. You got the cream, yeah. you got the parchment, you've got kind of the distressed grays and browns. See how it looks, Tim Holtz. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's cool though. Yeah. So anyway, so there are these, uh, which is kind of fun. See, how cool, like, these two options, if you wanted to just do a really fast... Um, Stash kid, buster. Yeah, or a kid quilt. Just sew all of these 10-inch mm -hmm. squares together, and they're going to look like you went through your stash and cut them all up. Now, I said stash buster. I should not have said that. Stash buster, you cannot make out of 10-inch squares. Uh, I think you meant beeline for baby. I meant beeline for baby. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay, we're going to clean this up, and then we have more to open. Okay, so while we were cleaning up, uh, we have a visitor. Uh, Barb stopped in. Hi. And so uh, Barb is, has stolen the baby. Yeah. Hello. Look <laughs> <Okay>. here. <laughs> Happy and Valentine's. I, yes. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. What does your shirt say? It says, uh, it's the Darth Vader. It says, I am your Valentine. I am your Valentine. That's cute. <laughs> okay, back on the <laughs> So, um, so I think we've mentioned this a couple times before that um, Barb will actually make quilts for people. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, none of the rest of us 
will do that. Um, Thelma used to do it a long time ago, mm -hmm. and Barb will do it. It's something that you can talk with her about. Um, and then she also will do long arming for people. People will ship their quilts here, she quilts them, and then ships them back. Mm -hmm. um, someone's going to, who, Elizabeth. Where's she going? Right? Oh, Sandra's. Sandra's is, is uh, on its way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, anyway, so this one actually belongs to someone. But what's kind of funny about this is that this is exactly what we were talking about this morning is this is Stash Buster yeah. using a panel. And apparently you guys saw this before it was quilted. That yes. was a day that I was maybe not here. But and it's humongous. Oh, it's up to them. This is your corner. It's a really big queen. It is big. And this is um, the cheer and merriment fabric. Okay. And we do still have some of this fabric and we still have the panel. Mm -hmm. So you can see what a cool way that um, instead of just putting your 12 and a half inch blocks of regular fabric, you could put in some, panels. Um, some of the panels. Which I think is fabulous. Yeah. So awesome. Super Thank cool. You. Beautiful. And beautiful Love quilting. It. Thank you. Beautiful quilting. Really nice. Oh, okay. We're never going to get that folded up. While well, she's kind of folding that up, I'm going to mention one other thing. And um, we wanted to give uh, Holly Schmidt, and it's Dandelion Stitches, Stitches. Uh -huh. is her YouTube channel. So um, yeah. she was she somebody who did opening. get all of this. And I remember when she placed her order, she said, oh, my gosh, uh, the name of my uh, YouTube channel is Dandelion Stitches, and I just love this. And so I've watched her a couple of times. I think I might have even subscribed, and I know I've put, in, uh, put some comments. And she um, did a box opening. When she got all of her fabric sent to her, uh, she did a little showing. So yeah. anyway. And she said her, um, her followers, they call themselves Dandelion Wishes. Dandelion Wishes. So it was perfect. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, made me think of Holly. Holly Schmidt. You guys have to check her out. All right. Okay. And then we hoisted some boxes up and I think this is um was it Northcott? Is that what you decided? I don't I don't know that I decided. <laughs> um is it oh it is, it is Northcott. Doesn't Northcott usually send us like um yogurt? Oh sometimes, yeah. Ooh, flannel. Canvas. Canvas. Oh, so if yep. you guys are familiar, is that what all of this is? Uh -huh. So if you guys are familiar with canvas, it's just a really nice, this is not the fabric, wait, how do we say that? Right. It's, it's not a the, texture canvas. It's a texture of canvas. Not like the weight of a canvas fabric. Yes, yes, which is mm -hmm. a heavy, heavy cotton. So, but it's that really nice, we should probably take the plastic off. So yeah, and then it, we'll, but. and I think we can tell you, I think Northcott's really good, they'll tell you the color. Yeah, like this is pine needle. So then we'll tell you what okay. the um, color names are. Okay, perfect. All right. Okay, and then um, Barbara was asking me about Northcott's um, 108 inch flannel backs, mm. which I thought I'd share my answer. Um, Northcott prints those once a year. So um, that usually comes June, July ish. It usually prints when Christmas fabric is coming around, um, which I think is a bummer they only print it once a year because. You guys love it. We love it. It comes mm -hmm. in, I think, six colors. It's all mm -hmm. it is. I think it's black, gray. There's a green. Green. Red, red blue. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's five colors. But, I mean, that's it. Mm -hmm. But they are a beautifully done 108 inch flannel back that are, uh, flannel backs are super hard to find. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we can get cotton backs all day long. But the flannel ones are sometimes kind of nice. Mm -hmm. So if you're holding out, keep in mind that does happen. But again, it's once a year. And those... And it might not be in the color you want. Yeah, it might not be in the color. And yeah. also it goes very, very quickly. We usually get two bolts of each color. Um, mm -hmm. But again, that's what, 16, maybe 12 yards? Per bolt. So if you're getting three yard cuts, it's like, yeah. Eight people will yeah. get it. It's not, yeah, that's, it's not yeah. my opinion. So, I mean, you can still do the same thing with these. And these are 15 yard bolts. You would need, you know, six yards, but you also have other color options. Mm -hmm. um, and they're a really nice, just flannel basic, really. It's beautiful. And, um, you know, we go through a lot, a lot of flannel. Yeah. <clears throat> I We've been in stores before where after winter they discount their flannel 
which is mm -hmm. weird to me because we put we carry flannel all year long we, we order it, it all year all long them. and we run out a lot and so um because we put flannel on the backs of a lot of quilts yeah. and so um anyway so at the moment we don't have a ton of flannel in the mm -hmm. store i went back and looked while um, brianna was taking the packaging off of this and this is made with studios not uh northcott but we do have some pre-cuts so in the 10 inch squares uh, we have this one and this is in kind of the red white and blue and if you look at this you'll see the textures are all different it's not all the same blue so there's multiple blues multiple whites multiple reds which is mm -hmm. kind of cool and um, then what was i was gonna tell what that one oh, was called what is this one called um <clears throat> this one is three cheers three cheers it's a red white and blue one so we have that one and then we have the christmas one what's the christmas one called? um holiday, holiday warmth, warmth. Really I pretty. Love this oh, one. this one is so pretty. Mm -hmm. And this one is multiple different shades of red, mm -hmm. and then um, even into kind of like a lighter red, and then multiple shades of green. So, really, really pretty. And then we do have a couple other in those um, neutrals. We have some fat quarter packets, and then we have a bunch of um, jelly rolls in the flannel, oh, sure. which is funny because they're like this they're big. Huge. Because it's <laughs> the same, it's 42. Uh, no matter what, it's still the same, but uh, it's that, just because it's so thick it's the same yeah. thing looking at this you know look at the height of that there's yeah, only 42 yeah yeah there you go there's only 42 pieces of fabric in there but that's just that yeah. difference you know with flannel so we really like it but and there's not very many here what's here eight Two. nine not, yeah just i think and i think that's mm. kind of all they have i don't yeah. they don't do a huge um run on it but it's really nice to have i think flannel on the back of a quilt even if it's a yeah. cotton quilt because the cotton flannel is going to keep your you warm but it's very breathable yeah. so it's a nice alternative if you're sending a, a winter quilt down to like arizona where it gets cold but not like maybe minky cold flannel is a really nice alternative to put yeah. in there all right so um i'll show you these and then there is actually a canvas um section um, that I'll throw this into and also the flannel section I'll put this into. So you'll see it all Very together. Nice. And you're going to tell them the name. The name, okay. color name, yes. Okay. So this purple one. How close up do you get? Okay, uh, let's see. All right, okay. This purple one is called Amethyst. Ooh, and I don't think my color is not right. That's coming out periwinkle. Um, if you twist where you click on it, yep, that one, twist that one. It'll Isn't make it really dark or really light. Or it might not make it right. Uh, at all. No, it's not right. Oh, okay. I think something else it's purple. I apologize. Purple, purple. It is. It is purple. Purple. It is. Yeah. yeah Queen's purple. Yep. And then the next one over. Oh, Bria, I'm totally messing this up. The next one <laughs> over is not right either. None of these look right to me. No. Oh. You better come and see if no. you can do some magic. So here. you can also. We'll switch. But you can also go to the website and we take manufacturer images off the website or for the web website from here over from that green over these all look right but these do not no okay maybe we'll no. switch no no yeah you come okay. in keep the glasses on all right sorry yeah look in that camera and see and i think that that's funny because somebody who's shopping see isn't that funny that looks periwinkle oh yeah it does and even look at the next one's over that one looked electric blue see oh yeah it's not quite right a little bit lighter it goes a little bit better but oh Mm. It's close-ish. Because this is a a pure purple. Yeah. And it definitely looks periwinkle on the camera. Yes. And they call I this amethyst. Yeah, and I would have called that egg, eggplant. So eggplant. you're like a it purple is, purple. It is absolutely purple. This one is teal, and they call it ocean breeze. And that is very, very teal. Uh, ooh, wait. What is this one? Like emerald? Yeah, emerald. Emerald. And they call this one peacock. Oh yeah, that's their peacock color. This one I would call it a denim blue, mm -hmm. and they call this one denim, and this one is a nice um, clear, dark, just a navy blue, and they call this one navy. Yeah, so navy, denim, peacock, and then these I think all looked right. Oh, oh, here this one. I forgot about this one. Evergreen. This one they're calling pine needle, yeah. and I de it's definitely a pine. It's coming through a little light, but definitely yeah. a pine, true green. Yeah. And then a light gray, they call this one pebble. And then a medium gray, uh, they call this one charcoal. And this is, um, it's almost more gray than black, but they call it ebony. But, oh, I guess that's not true. I guess it's both. It's black with bits of gray in it. Mm -hmm. It's just that really cool texture. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. All right. 
Okay, let's see. What else? We have one more little box down there. I think we do. We have a full text box. Do it. Oh, <gasps> Ooh, black and white. Apparently, it's a day. But look how cool that is. The butterflies. That black and paint. white though Color. it's a funny thing we have been we it's possible that we've been ordering more than we should knowing we had a, a retreat house to decorate because what's really nice about black and white is that you can do a whole black and white quilt and then add just a little bit of color. Mm -hmm. You can add a little bit of red, a little bit of teal, a little bit of blue, whatever you want. And it still has that real elegant modern look to it, but it has that little bit yeah. of color, which is kind of fun. Because that'd be an so. easy way to make, you know, mm -hmm. a, a wedding quilt. If you, mm -hmm. the, you know, Hollywood being a really easy pattern, you could do something more floral, more farmhousey, or if they're kind of a, um, modern but vibrant couple, you could do a black and white with their wedding color, you mm -hmm. know, whatever that sash color is or the mm -hmm. ribbon on her bouquet or whatever. You could put that color in with their black and white and it would be, you know, something mm -hmm. special they can just put on the couch. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to take some plastic off super fast and then show you what we got. Okay. Okay, so the name of this is Eventide. Eventide. And mm -hmm. so it will have its own category up at the top of what's new. But um, what are you yeah, I'm gonna, gonna do a I'm gonna work on a black, white, and gray category. So if you're looking just for mixed yeah. black and whites, um, maybe some gray in there, I'll put them all together because I think for the last like three months we probably have a couple collections. We've got the Maker's mm -hmm. Collage, we got there's one more right next to it in the what's new. Ooh. But we've gotten a few. It's very popular. It's very, very popular. You know, for a while there, I think for a couple of years, gray was all the rage, and now it's black and white. Now we're back to black, black and white. Black and white, which is kind of good, because again, you can just do anything out of it. And really, they kind of all go together. Right. You know, it does even if you have, you know, some off, a kind of a light black and a dark black and a, it you know, whatever. It, they look good together. It doesn't matter. Yeah. And there's so many that if you really want to do a masculine black and white one, you can find enough variety that don't have flowers or something gorilla. Yeah. Um, I think even I in this one, there. there's a lot of just geometric. Yeah, prints. which I think is really cool. Yeah. All right. All right. And I guess we don't have to worry about the color not being right. <laughs> yeah, it's going to just come out fine. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know where my glasses went to, but... Yeah, this is nice. And it's not very big. There's only, what, one, two, three, four, eight, nine. Yeah, just Another little. tiny one. So this one, gosh, is just little groups of a couple of... It's actually like a plus sign is what that is. But it's just nice and irregular, which makes it kind of fun. This is really cute. This makes me think of that one line yeah, with the create. bunnies on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Super, super pretty. And then, oh, I love this one. And that one, it almost seems like it's a flower, but it's really not. It's just a repeating. Yeah, I think it depends on how you cut it up. Yeah. I think you wouldn't even notice that it's kind of maybe could be feminine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> could I feel be? like you could fake that one out for sure. <coughs> yeah, totally. Yeah, because depending upon where you're cutting. Yeah, you never yeah. notice. The little butterflies. I love that one. Cute. This would be good for the collage people. We can cut all those out. Yeah, that's pretty great. Yeah. And oh, love that one. Is that one going to do something weird in the camera? No. Yeah, just a really cool little texture. Love that. And this and one. And it almost gives you that flag texture if you're wanting yeah. to do kind of a, you know, riff on an American flag or whatever. I don't know. Yeah. That's what I first saw was mm -hmm. Stars and Stripes. Sure. That is what that looks like. Mm -hmm. I love this. It's a little viney. Love this one. And that's like what Mama's saying, how you have some that have, you know, like a light black versus a mm -hmm. black black. I feel yeah. like that's white with a lighter black on it. Right. But it just, right. yeah. But they totally go together. It doesn't Absolutely. matter. Yeah. Even if you add something that has like, a, um, a, like either a bright white and a cream, they look really, really good together. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter. That's fantastic. I don't know what that is. It's like a leaf, maybe. But the texture on there is different. Yeah. And it's totally uneven. I don't know if you can tell the spacing apart is different. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. not an even one. And oh, my favorite, the coneflower, Echinacea. Yeah. 
Love it. Even Tracy from back behind said, "Ooh, that's cool." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and you, you can could see color some of the, um, the salvages on that side, so it is directional, but you yeah. can do it whatever you wanted. Especially if you're going to cut it up, it won't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you're wanting a really cool border or something. Yeah. All, All right. right. All right. Well, that was a lot that we looked at, right? So let's yeah. see. We have the flannel. Yep, we have the canvas flannel. Canvas flannel. Mm -hmm. Um, we did some notions, so mm -hmm. if you are having fabric fray fraying problems, yeah. um, we showed you the three potential fixes, what we use. Yeah. Um, what else did we see? Um, um, what did we put in the box behind us? Oh, the Moda stuff. The mix it up. Oh, the mix it up. <laughs> it's been so long ago. <laughs> so long ago. Cream and, uh, yeah, the low yeah. volume it stuff. It looked patchworky without yeah. having to do all the seams. So and is really that cool. also going to be in its own category? I'll put it in its own. Okay. Yeah, there's only going to be a few pieces, but I feel like that's really easy for you guys to find, finding it right there, so we'll move it. Eventually, it might go away and mm -hmm. absorb into somebody else, but that's yeah. okay. Um, we showed you Dandelion Wishes, Lisa the yes. Dandelion Puffs. Check that one out. I'll move it to the top of the What's New. Um, again, there are some other coordinates to go with it mm -hmm. um, if you're still looking for that. Or maybe you're just waiting for that to come in. Mm -hmm. So it's here now. And um, even tied. Even tied. Black and whites. Yeah. Flannel pack. Um, Pre-cuts. All right. Some show and tell. Yeah. And some show and tell. That's my, this is going to be a fast one. Lot. I yeah, can't tell. Yeah. I can never tell until yeah, I edit. I but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes it's like, oh my gosh, we only talked for 40 yeah. minutes. And sometimes yeah. we think, oh, it was only 40 minutes and we talked for an hour and a half. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Don't Never know. know. Tracy, anything you want to add? I don't have a thing. No. Good? Yeah. Good on the shipping front. <laughs> Keep me busy. She's all caught up. She's all caught up. She worked yeah. hard on her birthday. Yeah. <laughs> Maisie doesn't want to say goodbye. Maisie? No. Maisie doesn't want to say goodbye. She doesn't want to say goodbye. She's like, she's, wait a minute. It can't be that short. Who's this? She's such a mama's girl. Yeah, we were just talking. She really just I want my has mama. eyes for mom. She does. Yeah. We both like to wear our Valentine's Day shirts more than one time. Yeah. <laughs> she has a couple. She has cute hearts. I only she got does. two. Of them. And she all fits fit her. Yeah, and she's a newborn, but it's baggy still. So I gotta, you know, use them while I can. Well, see, my thing is, is that I have, I have one group of students one day, and the next day I have a different. So I have to wear. Oh, oh yeah, I gotta I wear my oh. holiday shirts two days. Spread the love. Yes. I do. Yeah. Just so that way they don't think, you know, like that's nothing, right. You know. Yeah. Gotcha. They're all. Oh, see, look at she wanted to be on camera. She did. She just wanted she to see mine. She's like, I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. Virginia. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got a drama queen. Yes. Got a Miss Redhead. She's like, I want to be a star. Yes. <laughs> look, yes. At look. look at her. Yeah. <laughs> look at her. You're going to have to zoom in on her face right now. Oh, she's just like, yeah. They've already zoomed in. They're done. They're gone. Yeah, yeah. Like, my, pe <laughs> my people need me. That's why she was upset. My people yeah. are calling yeah. for more. And her hair is getting like uber red. Super red. I am I know. so excited. I know. It's so going to be that red. same color as... As Harper. Yeah, yeah. I was like, it was joking earlier. I said, if we knew she was going to be a redhead, you should call the Jolene. I know. I, I was I was pretty sure she was going to be a redhead just because, you know, what was happening and whatever. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah, uh -huh, that's real funny. Boop. Boop. We're red. You make the baby stuff. Yeah. So yeah. I know, right? She's like, yes, I am. They're pretty cute. Okay. All, All right, you guys. See you Have Sunday. Nice. Bye. 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 <laughs> Thank you for watching our video. We invite you to leave a comment, hit the like button, or better yet, subscribe to our channel so you never miss an episode. You can also visit our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Pinterest pages, or find all of those things and our online store at fabricpatch.net.